Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial we're taking a look at another hipster look. But seriously though, we're going to be doing a hipster look. Now as you happen to DaVinci Resolve, this is a shot from uh, a country music video I did with a buddy of mine named Matt Enoch. You can go check him out. Super cool dude, good at singing and guitar and stuff. And I literally... I'm only making this tutorial because I was playing guitar and came up with that little thing. So I have no idea what we're doing. Let's jo jump into this and get started. Uh, I want to keep this sort of lighthearted and we'll keep this sort of hipstery. So I will keep the gamma up a little bit, gain up just a little bit, push that down, get it just a little bit contrasty. Of course, bring your saturation, whoa, not up that high. Bring your saturation to about there ish. And we'll boost up these blues some more. So we'll go over to our curves. Go over to hue versus saturation. Select these bluey areas and boost them way up. Looks like we need to get into green some too. Select this, change the input hue. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. The next thing we'll do is add a big old fat vignette on this. This is going to be a super simple little look, just like I would do for an actual music video. This is not the grade that I did for this music video, but it'll work. So there's that guy. Invert it. Bring this down. And now you may be thinking, Theo, that's a little bit harsh over there. Well, what we're going to do is going to hipsterize it. Add a new node. Go over to Curves. And now in here is where you make all the hipster magic happen. So if you see you pull up on the curve, you get detail back in the shadows. You don't want that. So bring it up just a little bit. And then we will bring it back down and we'll make a little flat part here. So you get that sort of vibe going on. And now all of a sudden it's super hipstery. Just that simple. If you want to make it even more so, we can go to just the blue channel. Make that a little bit yellow. You can add just a tiny bit of blue to the shadows. You don't want too much or else it gets real gross. But see now we're getting cool. We can even go back to this tab and add, not tab, node, you goof, and add some more contrast. Change the pivot, just because I'm really wanting to get those skin tones nice. And now at this point, I would normally use one of my LUTs, but I don't feel like doing that this time. But, you know, house LUTs, check them out. Instead, I'll just add a new node and then a layer mixer to that. And in this bottom node, I'll hit Shift-8 so you can see what we're doing. Go over to our RGB mixer, change it to monochrome, and then... Give it a bunch of reds, less greens. Just kind of tweak this until we have really kind of crazy skin tones. Maybe if I do it that way. That's interesting. So there we go. I'm kind of digging that. Now we will change this blend mode to soft light. Hit shift date so we can see what we did again. And there we go. Now we are nice and hipstery. I will bring this back just a little bit with our output gain. And that will brighten up the whole shot some in this node. Because it was getting a little bit muddy there. And I think that is pretty decent. So, nice and quick and easy little hipster look. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel if you want to see more excellent videos like this. I promise I won't be singing in, like, any more of them. And if you want to be super cool and just make everyone think that you're like baller to the extreme, go check out MeesterMedia.com slash products. Uh, and the Bright Lights Light Leak Pack is pretty killer. I highly recommend it. Also House Lights. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesterner Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.